और जनाब तुम्हारा तो प्रमोशन हो गया है क्या चल रहा है मेरा तो चार जीपीडी और ए आई टूल चल रहा है ये यूज करके तुम्हारा प्रमोशन हो गया है हाँ मुझे भी सिखा सकते हो आप से लुटी आई कैन In today's video, we will dive deep into the world of AI language models, comparing three titans of the field: ChatGPT, Bing, and Bard. If you have ever wondered which AI has the upper hand when it comes to natural language processing, you are in the right place. A quick disclaimer: there are AI competitors coming out every week, and these three have been developing at an extremely rapid pace. So a lot can change in a few short months, weeks, or days, and they will evolve quickly. probably looking a lot different than what we have today now to keep yourself updated with these trends visit our website to learn more about our comprehensive ai workshops and services explore the latest advancements in ai and microsoft tools with us and stay ahead of this curve don't miss out click the link below and discover the world of ai with us so let's get into it starting with chat gpt openai's chat gpt introduced in november 2022 stands far ahead of both Bing and Bard when it comes to being a comprehensive large language model however it's worth noting that comparing these three models might not be entirely equitable the latest version ChatGPT4 can do a lot of things like generate code for apps and websites create original works like a story or help plan an itinerary for a family vacation all of them use a LLM or large language model to generate human like responses to your questions and prompts rather than just listing a bunch of websites which may or may not contain the answer you are looking for although they still do that occasionally microsoft invested in openai and integrated chat gpt into the new bing search which is embedded in microsoft's edge browser bing holds a favorable position as it combines microsoft prometheus model with the data set of chat gpt4 from openai bing search index chat gpt's data set that currently only has information up until the year 2021 Even ChatGPT let me know that on more than a few occasions when I was asking random questions, which kind of made it feel a couple years behind that could get updated anytime soon. For all we know, and Bing Search Index bolsters that knowledge for Bing Chat. Bard uses Google's own model called Lambda. Lambda is a large language model developed by Google AI that can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. Google CEO Sundar Pichai said recently that Bard will be switching to Palm, which is a more advanced data set. It was announced that Bard can now help generate and debug code for web design, so that's a score for Google developers. However, Google is warning that the AI tool will not always get it right. ChatGPT and Bing have had this ability for some time. Right now, it looks like Bing may have the upper hand depending on when Bard switches from Lambda to Palm and betting on OpenAI updating their data set. Let's look at the chatbot's interfaces starting with Bing. Bing's chat interface is very clean and simple and is right next to Bing search which makes it easy to toggle between AI chat in a more traditional search engine. One thing I noticed using this a lot was how I would accidentally toggle to Bing's search when I was scrolling on my mouse which can sometimes be a little annoying. Bing offers three conversation styles to choose from. The default is more balanced then more precise and more creative on the left which unlocks creative tools like bing image creator powered by dolly for generating image from text selecting a different conversation style changes the color of the interface to help remind you which style you are using with bing one thing i like about bing's interface is how the text appears on the screen each word is displayed on the screen as if the ai is speaking the words to you in a real time conversation Bard on the other hand just slams you with its response with all the text appearing at once which sometimes feel overwhelming or unhuman like Bing also uses a lot of emojis at the end of responses which really adds to the human like experience Bard has never used an emoji in my experience but Bard does have this charm like star icon next to the prompt window and when you ask a question the charm starts spinning which indicates to me that the wheels are turning and Bard is in the process of thinking and the responses drop like a bomb all at once Bing currently only allows you to ask 20 questions before it forces you to change the subject which is similar to ChatGPT4 which currently has a limit of 25 questions every 3 hours. This can be really annoying especially if you are doing research and you are getting closer to an answer and then it just stops you in your track and forces you to start over. Bard will let you ask questions forever and never shut you down but Bard is very wordy and will generate very long answers. But after prompting Bard you can provide feedback about the responses. by giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down 
you could request a totally new response or google it which will open a new google search window so in my opinion bing wins this round with a better interface and user experience bing also has a mobile app for iphone and android that makes it easy to access the new bing chat on the go and it has a voice so extra points for that too chat gpt's interface is super simple and very similar to the others but it does allow you to revisit old conversations and export the data which includes conversation transcripts but you can now turn off the chat history and training under settings and that chat gpt is now capable of performing searches on the web you can like and dislike responses and generate a new response and edit your prompts i do like how it types out the word in a more human like way and it has a dark mode options too before moving any further let me tell you about btenx an edtech company helping working professionals acquire skills in chat gpt and other ai tools that could help them gain a high paying job You will get trained by IIT Kharagpur alumni and many other expert trainers. If you are interested, join our workshop at a very minimum amount by clicking on the link in the description. Now let's compare productivity. Let's see how each AI chatbot performs writing a headline and a description for the video I am producing right now. All right? Let's see what Bing says. Show, sure, here's a possible head in a deck for your video. Head Bing chat versus Bard AI and ChatGPT. Which AI chatbot is the best for you? That's pretty good Bing. Okay. So I'm going to ask Bard the same question. I'm going to copy paste the question into Bard. Hit go. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Okay, show. Sure. Here's a possible head and a deck for a video about Bing Chat versus Bard AI and ChatGPT. Headline Bing Chat, Bard AI and ChatGPT. Which one is the best? In this video, we compare Bing Chat, Bard AI and ChatGPT to see which one is the best. Okay. So I don't really like this headline. Which one is the best? See, which one is the best? So it's kind of repeating itself. I really don't like about that bard. It does repeat itself a lot and it does tells you that I can't help you with this, I can't help you with that. So I'm going to give that's a thumbs down. Now let's ask ChatGPT to write me a head and deck for the video and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, I like this. Bing Chat, Bard AI and ChatGPT, a battle of conversational AI titans. That is pretty creative. Watch as we delve into an in-depth comparison of Bing Chat, Bard AI, and ChatGPT, a battle of conversational AI titans. I really like that. That's good. In this battle between the free AI chatbots already embedded into major web browsers, Bing comes out on top for now. Its users' interface is simple to use, and its quality of responses are more detailed and trustworthy. It's very early in the AI arms race, but for now, I'm sticking with Bing as my go-to for getting things done and getting my searches. Also. Let me know which one is the best according to you. If you like this video, subscribe to B10X for more informative videos like this one and leave us a comment on how you are using AI chatbots to get things done.